Good morning, children. In today's maths class, I will start a new topic: concept of tens and ones. Con tens and ones, you know very well. Very well, you know when you are writing the numbers, you know which is tens, which will num which number you place in tens place, and which we will in ones place. So we will detail. We will do in this class. We will do the topic tens. And ones. Okay, we will do the topic tens and ones. So, if you are writing the two numbers, suppose I have written two four twenty four. See, two four twenty four. It is two digit number. First of all, it is two digit number, and two is. In tens place and four is in ones place. It is in tens place and it is in ones place. So we will write here T and O. Best with you put T and O here. Here is this is in tens place. T means tens and O means ones. So here I am writing T. Uh, Now I will do like this dash tens and dash ones. So what number you have to write? You have to write the number in tens place dash tens and dash ones. So you have to write the number two here. Two tens and four. Once why why is because two tens and four ones. If you ask me why, because two is under tens and four is under ones. So we have to write. We have to write. We know it is in tens place and it is in ones place. So when you ask when. I'm asking dash tens and dash ones, so you will write two tens and four ones. Two tens and four ones. This is the total concept of tens and ones. Detail you will learn in transition. But up to this, you have to know. I know everybody know if there is a two-digit number, one is it ones. Tens place and one it is ones place. Suppose the number is three zero thirty, then you will write. If I say when I am saying three zero thirty equals to dash tens and dash ones, what? You will write what we will write. What you will write, then you will write put T and O small. Put T and O small T and O. We write it here. It's best for you. Then you will understand which place small T and you write here. And then you it is easy for you dash tens. So dash tens is there T E N S. So you have to write. The number which is in tens place, which is in tens place, you have to write the number. So tens place, the number is three. The number is three. So you have to write the number here, three. You have to write three. Okay. Then it is zero and ones and dash ones. So I have I will write here zero. Because zero is under ones place. Because zero is under ones place. So children, this for best you write above the number the T and O. Then you easily understand the that which is in tens place and which is in ones place. And it is easy for you to write this dash tens and zero ones. Why? Because you know T means tens and O means ones. So three is written under tens and zero is 
written under one. So one. So your question is dash tens and zero and dash ones. So we have to see which number is under t means tens. So three is under tens. So you will write three here and zero is under ones. So you will write zero here. Okay. This is one type of pattern. See one more question. Here it is four six forty six equals to dash tens and dash ones. So what we will do here? We will write above T and O. Here it is T and here it is O. So this make you understand that if four is tens is in tens place and six is under ones place. The question is dash tens and dash ones. So what we will do? We will write here. Four because why four? Why not six? Because four is under tens. Four is under tens place. So I will write the number here, whatever in the tens place. So here it is dash tens and dash ones. Okay. So we will write here four tens, four tens and six ones. See, it is very easy. You know the concept of tens and ones. If two digit number is there, if single digit number or one digit number is there, it is in ones place. And if suppose it is two digit, so it is two digits. So one in tens place and next one is ones place. If it is three digit number, then it is hundred tens and ones. It is four to the thousand tens. Its concept you will learn when you go to tradition class one. Okay, up to upper nursery this much only. So you have to remember this whenever you are writing any number. Best whenever you are writing. Suppose the number is fifty three. Whenever you are writing the number, you write small t and o. Then it will remember to you. That which place uh, five is under which place and three is under which place. So children, if I give the question dash tens and dash ones. So as I have given fifty three, I have written over fifty three k t and o. So it is very easy for me to identify. Or recognize the number which is at tens place and which is at ones place. You will also do the same process. Otherwise, you will be confused. You will do the same process. Okay. Here it is five. So here it is written dash tens. So we will see the tens place number. Tens place number is what? Tens place number is five. So we will going to write here five because five is At tens place number, not three. You will not write three here. It will be wrong because three is not in tens place number. It is in ones place number. So children, you will write here five, five tens, and three ones, three ones, five tens and three ones. That means five is in tens place and. Three is in ones place. It is very easy if you do it properly. You can do it because you know which number is under tens and which number is is under ones. You have done this process when you are writing the forward backward counting, and you know the forward and backward counting very well. So, children, it is very easy for you to understand where you will put t and o, and while writing. You must write it; otherwise, you will be confused. So, better you write over the number T and O, because this. If I give, suppose I 
for this is the first i am not giving anything suppose i give this one then what what you will do you will have to write this number so it's very very much important to know which place is tens place and which place is ones place so children that's all for today have a good day thank you